Hi guys, and we're back, and from the last episode, I've been working in my server for a very long time, off camera, because I couldn't record due to storage problems again, but I decided we're going to record now, and as you can see, I got a full set of diamond tools, and a full set of diamond armor. I've also changed the difficulty to easy because I needed some stuff from mobs and I made an enchanted room which is very small and cute and um, as you can see in the corner I have hero of the village because a raid happens like immediately when I changed my game mode I got kind of mad about that but it was worth it because the village trades went down and it helped me a lot and I also added more village houses and added my villagers into the house, which was a very hard thing to do. And I finished up with my farm, which I'll show you once um, it gets daytime, if it lets me sleep in the bed. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, I didn't really finish the farm, I just planted everything that needed to be planted finally it took a long time for everything especially for the carrots because i only started with one carrot but in the back you can see my lovely village area i didn't even bother cleaning up the rails <laughs> as you can see i'm a very lazy person it was very a pain to get the villagers in the houses they weren't cooperating with me and it took me a long time. Every time I got a villager in the house with um, the block next to it, a villager from inside the glass area got into, got the occupation instead of the villager in the house. And I was like, oh my god, I have to, I didn't want to kill a villager, so I had to transfer that villager into the house and move the other villager which took a while and I got the librarians and I got the mending book right away so I was really happy about that but I also got the butcher, the armor, I got the cartographer, I don't, I don't really find use to it I just wanted to add it because I want all village occupations and I got the toolsmith or weaponsmith it's the same thing but yeah, that's basically what I got so far, and I got really lazy to make more houses. I ended up having, ha I ended up having to have to kill some of the baby villagers because they ran out of the glass immediately after I broke it and replaced it. So I had to kill some, sadly, but it's still okay because they're still making more, so it's good. And hopefully, I will make more houses. I am. I think I'm gonna try build one on camera and hopefully my footage will save this time unlike last time but yeah so we'll see you in the next clip okay guys I was walking around adventuring my world and I found this other village in the desert on the opposite side of my house and I was so surprised because where my house is now, it's in the middle of three different villages. Which is a good thing because that means I could trade with more and villagers maybe. I can trade with these villagers, I don't know. Because I'm making my own village trading town area. So, um, yeah, I was just adventuring and i'm gonna loot this village take the wheat and the bread and i'm gonna leave the cactus because i don't really need cactus right now and cactus isn't really a big deal when you live near a desert and um that was a bad idea jumping off and i'm just gonna take their um hay bales or whatever you want to call it i don't even know what it's actually called i'm pretty sure it's called hay bales if it's not don't come at me but yeah, that's all I've been doing, and I've also been clearing up the air, 
my area for my village town, which you'll see in a minute. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. So guys, I'm going to show you how to make these village houses that I made on camera. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay guys, so I basically finished the house. Um, I added the door, windows, torches, and the bed after I ended the recording because I was running low. So um, I'm going to basically add the same exact house copy right next to this house and right behind the other house. I may add a house over here if there's space. I'm not really sure. But I am going to add more houses all along here. And um, I'm going to be doing this all off camera because I'm not going to have enough storage to film all that um, right now. So um, I'll, catch, I'll catch you guys right when I finish building those houses. And yeah. So guys, I just finished putting the villagers in the newer houses that I made other than the back two houses it was a very hard to put them all in the house and like I said before I did it off camera because it's very hard for me to get the vill just one villager in each house because of how fast they get the occupation so I have to place the occupation block first before I actually put the villager in the house just to see which villager gets that occupation and grab that villager out of the glass area and put them in the house which is really hard to do to just take that villager out and I'm gonna level them up off camera okay seriously it's raining again why does it always rain when I turn on the camera like what the heck but as I was saying, um, I'm gonna add level up the villagers off camera and I'll see you guys in the probably next video because I'm running out of time to record and it's getting really late right now. So yeah, bye guys. Flowers today.